24th of August, 1944, the Polish radio makes a desperate appeal to the International Red Cross to look after the over half a million civilians who are going through the Pruszkov Clearing Center. These are people who were fortunate not to get murdered, but are now being sent with no food and no support whatsoever onto this clearing camp and then onto concentration camps and work camps across Germany and through occupied Poland. The Polish underground also sent a message of support to the French underground, who alongside the British and American allies have just captured Paris. The comparison with Warsaw is sickeningly ironic. Paris was given up by its German commander with hardly a shot fired. Warsaw is a fight to the death. Paris's beautiful architecture lies largely untouched. The city of Warsaw is being reduced to ashes and rubble. When the Warsaw Rising was over, the city would be occupied by Soviet troops and a Soviet government that would impose communism on Poland. Although Polish soldiers had fought on the land, airmen in the air, and navy in the seas, and they were on the side of the troops that won, Poland was subjugated to a government it didn't want and didn't vote for. Paris was free, Warsaw was not. The tale of these two cities is the tale of these two nations. Thanks for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage. If the story of the people of Warsaw fighting for their freedom and ours has inspired you, please share this film and share your opinion using the hashtag 63 days. Tomorrow's episode will be at 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.